I'm Barbara Gork of Cape May Radio, and today we are putting the WCFA spotlight on Penelope Cake, and she is the director of the Art Depot, the Creative Reuse Center in Villas, New Jersey. Hi, hi. Good to be here. Thank you. And uh, tell us about the Creative Reuse Center and the Art Depot. Absolutely. Well, a Creative Reuse Center is a place that provides gently used and secondhand art materials for artists and makers of any kind and people that just want to be creative and dabble in art or are serious artists. We have all kinds of supplies. We have supplies for painting, for collage, for assemblage, for knitting, for sewing, for so many things. Things that you wouldn't even expect to see, like we had a bouquet of peacock feathers, and we have some beautiful decorative birds. We have some silver flatware that people often make jewelry or constructions out of. Um, we even have some craft kits. So people can make their own. Yeah, yeah. And we also, right. So um, that's what a creative reuse center is. And there are many of them across the country. I had um, visited one in New York City, a quite large one in July. And I decided that Cape May County really needed this kind of facility. And so I decided to open it. And Center for Community Arts was generous enough to provide us with the nonprofit status. And we have opened in mid-February. And since then, we've collected over 2,800 pounds of donations, which have been prevented basically from going in the landfill. So we're very proud of that. So that's a concern, the landfills these days? Absolutely. This is a way, another way to practice living sustainably Mm -hmm. so that whenever you buy something, you think about where it's coming from, what the provenance of it was. And if it's already been used or bought by somebody, we're basically saving it from the landfill. Yeah. And uh, I guess we're just trying to conserve space and preserve, uh, you know, conserve as far as greenhouse effect and all that. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a, it's an, in a total um, environmental win-win situation. Great. Yeah. And you're an artist also. Yes, uh, I'm an artist. So you know what artists like. So you're you're the chief there. So you would <laughs> you would know what artists want to uh, yeah think about. I do, and I include things that maybe I might not be that interested in, but other people would be interested in. My artwork consists of a lot of collage and assemblage, and so we have some beautiful paper ephemera, some old um, music scores from early 1900s that can be used in collage. We have some pieces of kind of rusty metal junk that can be used (laughs) in assemblages. We've got all kinds of jewelry making supplies. What do you mean by ephemera? Ephemera Uh, is basically a paper uh, mm -hmm. product that has been saved, um, usually old or antique. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the word ephemera just means something that isn't there for very long and then goes away. But so this is a particular use of that word. Yeah. It's used for papers, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. old paper Mm -hmm. that has been saved. Okay. Well, um, our current opening hours are 12 to 5, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You can donate materials at that time. And donations should consist of art materials that are usable in good condition. And we're happy to take donations during those open hours. As well, you can shop. We also have something called Open Studio, which is whenever we're open, you can come and make something. We have wonderful work tables and supplies available. Uh, We have sample projects that we can help you with if you're interested in making something like that. And, uh, yeah, so that's when we're open. In the summer, probably in June, we'll be opening on Friday mornings, 10 to 12, for a special children's program. 
and um, we'll be putting information on Facebook soon about that. All the information about our classes, about our store will be on facebook.com slash Art Depot CMC. The CMC stands for Cape May County, and that's important to put after Art Depot in both our email and in our Facebook page. So Art Depot CMC at gmail.com. That's the and email, a, right. And then the Facebook is also Art Depot CMC. Yes, yes. And then your uh, street address is 1301 Bayshore Road uh, at Unit 202. And that is the Bay, Bayshore Villas or, or uh, Shopping Center. What is the sh uh, shopping center? Bayshore Plaza. Okay. It's called, yeah. And it's a, a low white buildings. And you're at 202 in that little. Yeah, we have a loop. big open flag in front of our storefront. Okay. Um, which helps identify it. And that's on West Virginia Avenue. That's the cross street. And Bay Shore, Bay Shore. yes. Okay. Just Is north it? of the uh, CVS and the Wawa on Bay Shore. Yeah, okay. One thing is, if you're interested in volunteering, we can always use more volunteers. And that can involve processing donations. That can involve putting in some store hours. And we'd be happy to have you. So just... Uh, Facebook message us or email us. I also want to thank three women who have been helping me a lot since the beginning of this project. Uh, Ellen Fenner, Kate Blinbury, and Barbara Hepp um, have been wonderful. And they are there during our hours and ready to help you and encourage you to be creative and imaginative. Uh, tell us about the studio time and the art classes a little more. Sure. Well, as I said, it's open studio. So for $10, you can come in while we're open and use any of our supplies to make something. Make something of your choice or copy one of the things that we have made as samples for things you can make. If you don't feel like you have an idea, we have a lot of ideas for you. And then the classes, so far we've had a tote making workshop, which is was a sewing uh, workshop. We have three working sewing machines that we can use. The other class was a bead uh, earring class um, taught by Ellen Fenner, who's quite a renowned jewelry artist in the area. And we had a exploding scrapbook class, which was... Exploding scrapbook? <laughs> yeah. What is that? Well, it's basically a box that when you take off the cover, it opens up into many pages of a scrapbook. And then you can put whatever you want in your scrapbook. Nice. So yeah. that was really fun. On April 30th, we have a bead stringing workshop with Ellen Fenner. That's from... Two to four o'clock on Sunday afternoon. That's generally when our classes meet. And she will have a large selection of beautiful beads for you at that time. Classes in the future include a pillow making workshop, which is a sewing workshop. I'm going to be teaching a what's called a button collage workshop, um, where we take buttons and create images with them, such as a moon or a cat or a star, or even a hedgehog, or whatever you would like to create with <laughs> and, your buttons. And I saw you have some of these pictures, uh, pictures of these results uh, on your Facebook page, so if people want to uh, glance at what's possible yes. over there yes. to make. Uh, you can look at the Facebook page uh, photos. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat. And your classes are for all ages. You have adult classes and kids' well, classes? Well, our regular classes are available for children and adults, but children over eight years old. Okay. So we can have mother and daughters come, sisters come. Okay. Um, you can make a date of it. Mother's Day is coming? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, fun. I think this is a really important kind of institution to have anywhere, but I'm particularly happy to have it in Cape May County. And I think that it will provide a lot of people with creative possibilities, but also 
supplies that are really inexpensive. We sell, for instance, a whole beautiful pad of watercolor paper for $2. I mean, if you go to Michael's, it costs, I don't know, $12 mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. something like that. And we have beautiful, beautiful beads and jewelry making supplies. We have even tools for making jewelry. We have fabric. There is no fabric store in Cape May County. So we do have quite a bit of beautiful fabric for quilting, for dressmaking. We have some incredible um, hand felt, felted material. We have roving for needle felting. We have a lot of stuff and it's very inexpensive. Yeah. So So I want to thank you for coming and talking with us, Penelope. And I hope everybody... Uh, who's thinking about a project will stop down there before they go to Michael's yes. uh, just to see if they have something they need. You can always um, Facebook message us or email us if you're looking for a specific material and we can tell you whether we have it or not. Okay, so that's 1301 Bayshore Road, uh, Unit 202 in Villas, New Jersey. And that's the Art Depot Creative Reuse Center. And thank you, Penelope Cake, director, for coming to talk to us. Thank you very much, Barbara, for having me. You're welcome.